Hello and welcome to my video tutorial for One Color Honeycomb Brioche. This is Leslie Robinson from Knit Graffiti Designs. And first we're going to cast on an odd number of stitches using the Twisted German Cast On method. So I'm going to actually cast on 15 stitches. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now we have our stitches. I'm going to turn my work. So now we're going to work a setup row because we don't have any brioche stitches yet. So this is going to be actually the contrast side or the wrong side of the work. So we're going to knit the first stitch, knit one, then we're going to bring our yarn forward, slip the next stitch purl wise, and you can bring your working yarn back to be ready for the next stitch. I actually like to leave my working yarn in front. I'm going to knit the next stitch that's going to automatically create that yarn over. So now we've just created a brioche stitch here. So just like in regular brioche, in honeycomb brioche, this is counted as one stitch. So we're just going to repeat that across the row. Yarn forward, slip one, yarn over, knit one. Our last two stitches, bring yarn forward, slip one, and we're going to wrap our yarn around that last stitch, slip the last stitch with our working yarn in front. That will create a really nice salvage edge. And now we turn our work. So that was our first setup row. So now we're going to actually begin the repeat for the one color honeycomb brioche. So this is the, the main side or the, or the right side of the work. And if you want, at this point, it's handy to clip a removable stitch marker. So now we're going to knit the first stitch. So remember, this is row one. And now we've come to our first brioche stitch. We're not actually going to work this as a brioche stitch. We're going to work the stitch behind the yarn over and then slip the yarn over purl wise. So I'm going to kind of go behind this yarn over here and knit that stitch. And now slip the yarn over purl wise, knit this next stitch. I'll show you again slowly. Go behind the yarn over, knit one, slip yarn over purlwise, knit one. Now I actually like to do this in one movement. So I go behind the yarn over, knit one, and slip that yarn over purlwise at the same time. That actually speeds up my work quite a bit.
and I would come to our last stitch, slip that with yarn in front. Now we turn our work. Now we're on the contrast side or the wrong side of the work. And just remember that it's going to take a few rows for the pattern to actually look like honeycomb brioche. It might look kind of weird for a little while. So now we're going to knit the first stitch. This is row two. Now we've come to a brioche stitch. This was in the previous row. We knit this stitch and slipped this yarn over. Now we're actually going to work it as a brioche stitch. So we're going to brioche knit one or bark one, yarn forward, slip one. You can bring your working yarn in back or leave it in front, however you like to work that stitch. Brioche knit one and continue that across the row. So basically on the wrong side of the work, we're going to be brioche knitting and on the right side of the work, we're going to be slipping the yarn overs and knitting the stitches behind the yarn overs. Let me get more yarn. So we've come to our last stitch. We've barked one, bring our working yarn in front, slip that stitch purlwise. So now we're back to our main side. You can see it doesn't look a lot like honeycomb brioche yet. So now we're on row three and we're going to do the same thing we did on row one, except everything's shifted over one. So here you have the first is a knit stitch and then we're going to do another knit stitch. So knit the first stitch, knit one. And now we've come to the brioche stitch. We're going to go behind the yarn over, knit one, and slip the yarn over purlwise. We're going to knit one, go behind the yarn over, slip the yarn over purlwise and continue that way across the row. So we come to our last two stitches, we're going to knit one Bring our working yarn in front and slip that stitch purlwise. As you can kind of see the selvage edge, it's crazy. Okay, now this is gonna be our last row in the four row repeat. So now we're on our wrong side. Even rows are on the wrong side. Odd rows are on the right side. Okay, sorry, I disappeared there for a second. So we're going to knit that first stitch and now we've come to a slip stitch. We're going to bring our working yarn in front, slip that stitch and brioche knit the next stitch. Okay, we've come to our last two stitches. We're going to slip one, bring our working yarn forward, slip that stitch. And that is your four row repeat. I'm going to show you a photo of what the one color honeycomb brioche will look like. And I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thank you for watching.